So I'm just sitting here waiting for my water to come to a boil on my little Tranja knockoff so I can have a cup of tea. And I thought I'd share with you a new item that I've been testing out, carrying along on the last number of hikes, and that is the Durston Lower 12 Kruxa made by Uberleben. And I'll give you a couple close-ups in a minute. I'll just give you a bit of an overview. So this was sent to me by Uberleben for testing. I, I looked, I did see it online and I asked them if they would send me one because I thought it would be something interesting and you might want to see. So basically the Lower 12 is a 12 ounce Kuxa made from Malaysian oak. So it is offshore made. It is made with hand tools. The interior and the exterior for that matter are coated in a BPA uh, free, a BPA free food safe sealer but even so Durston does recommend that every once in a while you do use some type of an oil uh, personally I like a flaxseed oil for my uh, spoons and mugs and the like it's because of course it will dry out especially if you're going to be washing it with hot water and soap so every once in a while you do need to recoat it it's a good size mug I gotta say that and that's the, what I liked about it uh, it's a good size mug holding 12 ounces there are a few things I'd like to see different on this and I'm going to show it up close and I'll show you those items as well. But before I do, I just wanted to give you a comparison with a couple of other very commonly used items or cooks. So to start with is the Kupilka mug, which is made with wood fibers combined with some plastic resins and formed into shape. It is reminiscent of a cooksa, but it's quite small as you can see. I've been carrying this now probably four, maybe five years. I really quite like it. I like it for a number of reasons. I like the way it fits my hand, the way I can hold on to it. Relatively lightweight. I like that. Uh, you know, it looks very traditional. It's not completely made of wood, but it, it looks very traditional. And it's very durable as well. It's, it's quite tough. I have dropped this without any damage to it. The downside, doesn't hold a lot of coffee. But that's okay. If you have a pot of coffee going, then uh, of course you can always add more later. I have another one I want to share with you as well. So this is one that's appeared in a couple of my videos, and this is one I made myself. So this was made from a piece of, piece of birch log, and it was the first and actually so far only cookser that I carved myself. I did this with a handmade knife and gouge that were made for me by Randall Graham. And it's been uh, finished off with flaxseed oils, multiple, multiple coatings of flaxseed oil. It's a great mug. I like the look of it. It has one flaw. It's round on the bottom. So I have to be very careful when I set it down. I have to make sure it's supported somehow. Otherwise, the thing will tip one way or another. I really like this, but boy, it took a lot of work. I don't mind sharing with you that, you know, the, the, the first part, axing it out with an axe and cutting it out that way, that didn't take too long. Didn't take too long to carve the basic shape of this, either the exterior or the interior with the gouge for that matter. But to finish it up so that it was as smooth as I could reasonably make it and sand it and then coat it with oil, this probably took me three weeks before it was ready. You really have to let the oil dry, and uh, of course that does take time. There's no rushing that. So that's my homemade Kuxa. So it's a bit bigger than my Kapilka, but still not as big as the Lore 12. So let's bring the Lore 12 back into, into focus, and I'm going to come up a little closer with this. So you can see it's a good size mug, a nice flat bottom with the Durston logo on there. It did come with this pair or this little tiny piece of paracord with a, a little carabiner on it. You can also see, hopefully, right here, the etch lines counting up to 12, indicating, of course, 12 ounces. Now, what I love about it is the volume. Absolutely. 12 ounces is a good size cup of coffee. I love that it is made of wood. It has that traditional look and, uh, you know, it, it just fits with, of course, with bushcraft. Things I'd like to see different. Well, to start with, the way this mug is designed to be used, and this is true of all cookses, is you don't grab them by the handle. You grab it so that your hand wraps around the bowl. And in doing so, you've got, you use the little handle part to kind of hold on to it and give, give you a better grip. What I'd like to see a little bit different is this tapers in this direction as well as in this direction. 
I'd like to see it flare out just a little bit more on the back. That's the way I've designed mine and that's the way the Kapilka is. Because what I find is that occasionally my hand wants to work its way back on the handle so I don't get as firm a grip. So if I had a little bit of a flare there, then I'd be able to get a better grip on it. Now that may just be the size of my hands because I do have double XL hands as well. The other reason I'd like to see it flare out a little bit is I'd like to kind of customize it with wrapping some paracord or weaving some paracord over it or a leather lace or anything else. And I tried that and it, this uh, double taper doesn't lend well to that. It tends to want to slide right off so that it's going to remain without. Other than that, holding on to it is nice. It, Like I said, it keeps the drink warm and uh, you can just feel the tiny bit of warmth coming through the mug which is nice as well if you've got cold hands. The only other thing I'd like to see changed on this, and this is not a condemnation of the design of it. In fact, it's just, it is just the way it was manufactured. The inside lip of the bowl is perfect right angles. So perfect that it's almost sharp. So that hasn't caused me to cut my lip, but I can feel it, I'll be honest. I can feel it on my lips. So easy enough, I, when I get it home, I haven't done it yet, only because I wanted to show it to you in a brand new shape. I'll just break that edge with a tiny piece of sandpaper, just to roll it over a little bit, and then I'll finish it off with some flaxseed oil. Other than that, what's not to like? A wooden cooksa, keeps your drink warm, has a traditional look. Yeah, it's a nice mug. Okay, so I can see my water has just about come to a boil, so I'm going to wrap this video up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the links to where you can purchase the Durston Lore 12 Cooksa from Uberlieben, both from their factory and as well as I believe it is also available on Amazon. Very reasonably priced. This is definitely for somebody who wants the look of a traditional mug, wants the nice functionality of a wooden mug, but doesn't have the time, the tools, or uh, I wouldn't say the skills because I think anybody can make one if they, ha if they, if they can access the, the wood and the tools, they can make their own cooksa. And if you can, then I'd recommend you give it a, give it a go. Uh, it's, there's a lot of satisfaction in it. But if you're looking for one that is pre-made, reasonably priced, then this is a good option. One other caution I would say is because it is made from a hardwood and they've done a pretty good job of thinning out the walls to get that maximum amount of volume inside, do be careful with it. Don't drop it on the ground. It hasn't happened to me yet, but I'm just a little bit more cautious that this, the fact that this is made from a hardwood, that if I do drop it, especially right now, it's still cold out here, that it might, uh, might crack the mug. But I've used it a number of times. I enjoy using it. There's no leaks. There's no discoloration on the inside. It's not taking a flavor or anything else. I've been able to wash it out. I haven't even had to oil it yet, but I will probably do that in the near future. Okay, the Durston Lower 12 from Uberlieben. Nice mug for coffee, hot chocolate, or today, tea. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.